Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another breezy day. Eighty-five degrees already. That wind's coming straight in off the Gulf this morning. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Look what I see up the beach. See up little up there? Ah, that blasted barge broke free of its mooring of its anchor and is up on the beach. Great. That's like the curse of Del Norwegians, that darn barge up there. Boy, all this wind out here. I feel a little burning in my eyes. I think we might have a little red tide out there. That's not good. Hopefully there's no dead fish out on the beach. Here comes one of our park rangers making his morning rounds. Hopefully he won't get his buggy stuck like yesterday. walk down to the beach here. We're up in area one. The very south end of the park. Almost the extreme south end. Still lots of waves this morning. ends where those condominiums start. That's the end of the park down here. There's where I just came in, right there. Area one. Great ramp there. They got several of these nice ramps to take you out to the beach. Let's take a walk and see if we have any new sea turtle nests on the beach. We are going to have a pretty extreme high tide, it looks like, today. These waves, high tides not until 9.45 this morning. And the water is already a good ways up the beach. Hey, for any of you watching that live in Naples, today we're having a benefit for one of my friends, Tim McEwen. He was a bartender at the North Naples Country Club and he's having some pretty tough times now. He's had some neurological problems and they are just faced with an onslaught of bills. So we're gonna have a fundraiser this afternoon at the North Naples Country Club. It's going to be lots of good times there for everybody. Raffles, 50-50 drawings. So if you like fun and helping people, come on up to the North Naples Country Club this afternoon. Help my friend Timmy. Whew, this wind is something. Trying to blow the camera off the gimbal this morning.
partly cloudy out here this morning. Sun's in and out from behind the clouds. It still isn't quite up over the trees yet here. It's 85 degrees. always Google the temperature of Naples. Temperature, the water temperature information, the air temperature. I'm not really here to give you a weather report. It's more to show you what's happening out here. But I do start out with the temperature. And I'll say it again. It's 85 right now. We're expecting a high of 90 today. It's going to be warm with the heat index. Very humid here. This breeze is going to help keep the temperature down at the beach. The water temperature is 88. Really, really warm. But rough. That wind is coming right in off the gulf. I believe... Sorry, where the wind's blowing the camera around. I believe we have a little red tide out here. Onshore breeze has carried some red tide in from out the Gulf. Not too serious. There's no dead fish all over the beach or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that green algae. The big difference between red tide and that nasty algae. We don't have any of that green algae here, thank goodness. No signs of any new sea turtle crawls yet. Well, I do see a couple dead fish here on the beach. There's one over here. There's one over here. Yeah, gosh darn it. We are getting affected by that red tide again. Oh yeah, here's some more. Gosh, a few months ago, oh gosh, we had, we were, I don't know, it was, I'm trying to think how long it was. It was over a month that the red tide was there at the beach. It was terrible. Absolutely awful. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. But it's taken its effect on some of this marine life already. Here's, I've seen several dead horseshoe crabs on the beach already this morning. That's a shame. I'm up at the north end of Area 2 right now. Boy, I have never seen the red tide kill as many horseshoe crabs as I have now. Here's another horseshoe crab here. Definitely feel the red tide in the air up here. Another horseshoe crab, goodness. Darn it. These guys are so cool. We're 
probably not going to see Roy up here. I don't know. I don't think he'll be out here this morning. These waves are really pounding here. Here's that darn barge. It's washed up on our beach. This thing has just become a curse out here. A blasted curse. It won't go away. It's the barge that won't go away. All these, all these waves out here over the past couple days it broke loose of its anchor, drifted up on the beach. Here's a look down to the south. No rain showing up on the radar, although those clouds look pretty gray. Almost looks like rain out there. Maybe there is some rain out there in the Gulf. There's the old barge. <coughs> <coughs> Morning, Mark. Always something new out here. <laughs> there you get a nice close look at the barge. Up close look. Wow. To my surprise, although I can assure you there is no life in this nest up here, sea turtle nest number 40 is still standing, but I can guarantee you these eggs are all drowned. As a matter of fact, if you look closely, like you can start to you're starting to see some of the eggs being exposed right there you can see the tops of a couple of them what a shame what a shame we've lost nest number 40. Hopefully we got some new nests to make up for it. It's always sad to see, but that's just one of the reasons why these sea turtles lay so many plastic eggs. When I left yesterday, we had 53 nests on the beach. I don't know if there was any new ones this morning. Hopefully we'll have a new one today. We still have about another month for nesting season. If you're just tuning in, 
We do have red tide out here this morning. I've seen some dead fish. I can feel it in my in my lungs and my eyes. I've seen quite a few dead horseshoe crabs on the beach. Here's another one. So sad, so sad seeing all this dead marine life. Our sea turtle nest number 19 nest 19 over there nest number 30 over there I see why a ranger has stopped up the beach he might have found another crawl up there Google Red Tide, you can learn all about it. It's a red algae. It's a natural occurrence. It's out in the Gulf. And these, these high winds, this big, this onshore, strong onshore breeze that we have that's causing all these waves has brought it in close to shore here. red algae, the red tide gets in close to shore. Fortunately, we don't have that toxic water, that green algae here that they have in the north of us, but if we had that, the red tide just feeds on that. It doesn't cause it, but it feeds on the red, the red algae, the red tide feeds on the green algae. Thankfully, we don't have any of that green algae here in North Naples. Sadly, that we do have a, some dead marine life. There's a little dead angelfish up on the beach. Red tide, you can actually feel it in your eyes. Your eyes will burn when you breathe in. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like you get that sensation of like when you smell ammonia or bleach. You now it you just get that kind of burning inside. It's definitely not, this is not a good place for anybody with any respiratory problems to be. It's not going to hurt you physically if you go out in the water, but I would definitely suggest you wash off good when you get out of the water. Morning. Lots of great people out here, even on a morning like today. <laughs> There's a few shells down here. I'm seen anything really 
interesting yet, worth picking up and talking about. Of course, I'm moving right along. I'm not dilly-dallying here with this red tide this morning. There's some more dead fish up here on the beach. Looks like a little snapper. I do see Roy up there. See, we've had quite a bit of erosion here over the past week. This big ledge right down here in front of me. You can see the waves are always making their way up over it. A lot of white caps out in the Gulf this morning. Well, no signs of any new sea turtle crawls. Gosh darn it. Hoping to see a few more nests out here. Catfish. Ah. Well, I thought with all those waves yesterday, there'd be a lot of shells up here at the high tide line, the ridge line here. Not really seeing much of anything, just a lot of old broken shells as usual. Side of an old conch shell.
folks out here doing their morning beach walks, getting their exercise. Oh, it is so sad to see these dead fish. Darn red tide just doesn't seem to leave us alone. Top of a conch shell, a fighting cop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Not many shells in this way. <laughs> <Just, coughs> oh. Just got another whiff of that red tide. Woo. Another dead dead mullet up here on the beach. There's Roy. Bob, how are you doing? Oh, not good. Breathing in this red tide. Yeah, I, I noticed it's really burning my eyes. I not talked good. to the ranger too. He says a lot of dead fish yeah, down all there. All along here. You didn't see him up here? Yeah, there's a few up here, but he said there was a bunch down there. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, so it's coming in again. I'm sorry yeah. to say. Barge is up on the beach down there. Well, you know, I mentioned to him that with his little truck, he forgot to pick it up, you know, with his tongs. Yeah. How he picks up the debris <laughs> and put it in the back of his truck. I told him he missed that. He missed the barge? Yeah, and he <laughs> pick it up and put it in his little Jeep. <laughs> What'd he say? Did he get right on it? Yeah, he said they called in and they got two tugs coming or something to pull it out. I don't know. Jeez. I don't think that other little tug can do it, really. Not with these waves. Well, it's up with the high tide. They can't wait till high tide because it's high tide now and it's up on the beach. Yeah, we're, we're a good couple hours from high tide. Uh, you're going to get wet today. So, uh, you're not going to stick around, are you? Well, I didn't know I was going to, but <clears throat> it burned my eyes so much. Yeah. I was down there. I was coughing. Yeah, me spots. too. Oh, I got to try for a hug. Oh, boy. Going down the other way. Hi, girls. Do I get a Oh. <laughs> he doesn't let anybody buy. Look at that, two complete strangers. Oh, Roy. He doesn't let anybody get by. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, Roy. You know, uh, you can't. It was worth it. Yep, you can't blame a man for trying. <laughs> I don't tried. know unless you ask. At that time, I, I, that, I succeeded. I thought you were going to get clobbered by one of those weights in her hand. <laughs> they were a little surprised to begin with. Yeah, you didn't know what you were doing when you sprung out of your chair.
I never saw you move so fast. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta really get with it. It worked out. It did. It was I, definitely I'm worth it. I'm glad you were here because then they figured they well, weren't getting attacked or anything. Yeah, well they didn't want to turn you down on camera. <laughs> oh, that, you know I'm on camera with that hug? Oh, of course. Oh, I forgot about that. I can think of your reputation. It wasn't losing lascivious, was it? Nope. Oh, good. Your reputation is okay. okay. Nope, your reputation is getting better. <laughs> okay, that's they, wonderful. That was, they just paid the toll for crossing the beach in front of you. That's, <laughs> that's how we'll look at that. Oh, well, they're very delightful ladies. All the ladies on the beach oh, yeah. are very, very pleasant and delightful. There's some great people we meet yeah, out here. They're really special people. And then Karen comes down yesterday. I had a big swim with her. Oh boy, we went out. We oh Tom's wife, know. Karen Blair. Huh? Karen Blair, Tom's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The airline pilot. No, this, this is the other. Karen. Oh, Karen. Yeah. Karen and with Karen and Denise. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So they were here, and oh, we played around those big waves. Man, they were big, huge ones. Wow. So all three of us, we had a great, quite a time. That sounds like fun. fun. Gosh, I haven't seen Karen in a lot, or Denise, her sister, in a while. Well, this was Karen and her friend, I think, Mickey. Maybe it's Mickey. a different Karen. I don't know if her I'm... husband is an airline right. pilot. Right, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they live here in the park. Well, they have a house here in the yeah. park. Yeah. yeah. So they're good swimmers. In fact, they said they used to go to a beach out in uh, New England there when they were kids, and they always were swimming. So they like going in the heavy surf. And Nice. They were good swimmers. I don't think you, I don't think you got to take a plunge today, are you? Oh yeah, yeah. I really? plunge every day. Actually, the way the wind is higher, but the waves aren't as big as they were yesterday. Must have calmed down overnight. Or well, something. I think the wind's stronger. It's knocking them. Actually, yeah, the knocking wind the is tops up. Off. The, way, the big waves aren't. So no, I enjoy going and swimming. Yeah, well, make sure you take a shower afterwards. Oh, I yeah. always do. Yeah, I get the to salt off. Well, you gotta get that red tide off. Yeah, I'm hoping that I understand it's been bad up north, and I yeah. hope it doesn't come down here. Although, and they've got that other that green algae up there that's just awful, killing everything. Or it does it get in your eyes? Does it make gas? Well, it's like, like pea soup. You can't even breathe around it. Yeah. Oh, really? So it's it, toxic. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That's a new one then. Yeah. Well, it's not new, but it's the what green, comes out of that right. Lake Okeechobee when they drain it. A green tide. It's not. It's not a tide. It's a like pea soup. Okay. It just kills everything. Manatees, oh. turtles, dolphins, oh, Lord, people. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Oh, okay. They're trying to figure out what they can do about it. Hopefully they don't come down here. Hopefully it doesn't. That's our biggest fear. If that ever got down here, we'd be ruined down here. It's killing everything, all the business up north. I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. It's a green algae, huh? Yep, and it comes out. They drain Lake Okeechobee, you know, because when it gets full, they release the water, and it's from maybe, all the maybe fertilizers. If they, maybe if they let it go all the time, like in nature's way, then they wouldn't have that problem, huh? Yeah, that might be one solution, but now it's so bad, they can't figure out how to get rid of it. I, I mean, know, it's disgusting. I, I don't know why they made Oke, Lake Okeechobee anyway, unless they had some purpose. God, yeah, you better talk to the creator about that one. No, I mean... Uh, uh, they, they made a dam. I mean, the well, lake. yeah, they didn't make the lake. The lake was there, but they dammed it up. Oh, the lake was there to begin with. Yeah. So there would have been a problem whether we made the dam or not. Well, yeah, probably. Oh. That's why they call them dams. <laughs> oh, you know what the fish said when he well bammed into the concrete? What did he say? Dam. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's got something to do with what we did. It always does. But I'm going to walk up. I see one of their markers washed up on the beach up there. Yeah, beware of the un danger underground uh, pipeline. I'm going to go see if I can find the pipe up there. Must be right there. There's, <laughs> there's a sign. A sign. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> All right, Roy. Have I'll, a, have a good time. All right, I'll, get, I'll check back in with you in a minute. I'm just going to walk a little further up the beach here. Stop and chat with Roy quick on the way back. Oh, 
But we are feeling the effects of red tide here, unfortunately, this morning. Offshore, earlier we saw that barge washed up on the beach offshore. If you look really close, you can see some sign signage out there and it says um, danger. Submerged pipeline and that is, there's a pipe ru running from Wiggins Pass all the way down to where we saw that barge under the water. And they're, they were dredging the sand. They're actually like vacuuming up the sand and pumping it down to the south end of the beach here. So they got those markers out there. But what happened? Well, two things happened last night. One, the barge broke free of its anchor and washed up on the beach behind me. Wow. And two, one of those signs that was floating out there in the water broke free and it's up on the beach here. I just heard something up in this tree. I can't, the sun is right in my eyes. I heard something up here screeching. Up in these Australian pines. It sounds like an osprey. but I cannot find it up there. It's really loud. It sees me because it stopped. I don't know if you could hear it screeching up there. There it is. I spotted it. Let's see if I can zoom in here, if I can find it. See it right up there in the top of the tree? No, not in the top of the tree, but up on that branch. There you go, now you can see it. That's one of our ospreys. Beautiful, beautiful birds. They kind of resemble bald eagles. Not nearly as big. Great fishermen, the ospreys. He's definitely keeping an eye on me, he or she. Gorgeous birds. It's about as close as I can get with the iPhone. That wind is really blowing the camera around. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's an, <clears throat> an osprey. Right up there, just above that curved branch. It's sitting right up in there. <clears throat> it was really noisy a little while ago. It'll probably start screeching again when I walk by. I really haven't seen any any interesting shells this morning. Just kind of disappointed in the shelling. We do have, there are some dead fish on the beach because of the red tide. That's a mullet there.
<laughs> not really seeing any great shells. Little cockle shell. We've seen a lot of these cockles lately on the beach, the cockle shells. Well, this is about as far as I'm gonna go this morning. No beach left to keep going forward here. We'd have to take the back road up along the nature trail up there to get to the end of the beach to Wiggins Pass. There's one of those warning signs that broke free and washed up on the beach. Wonderful, huh? <laughs> I'll take a picture of it. Hang on. Well, it looks like this sign and the barge on the beach are the highlight of this morning's beach walk. <laughs> Whoa, I just got soaked by a wave. Came right up over me. Wow. Well, I'm going to turn around and head back down the beach. Didn't see any new sea turtle crawls today. Or yesterday. beach is definitely taking pounding between the waves and the red tide. Not good. <coughs> That's a dead mullet. Sadly, I think we're going to see more dead fish on the beach here as this onshore breeze continues. much of anything out here. A few pieces of worm rock. It's always fun to look at the worm rock. The little worm tubes. But unfortunately our Beach paradise has been invaded with red tide. What happens is the red tide, it's a red algae. It sits out in the gulf. 
what I understand, it's always out there somewhere. But when we get these strong onshore breezes, it blows it in. And that's when we get these fish kills. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this has, it's not really related to the, that green algae that you've been hearing about. You're having that green algae, that's a big problem to the north of us. That's from the water that's being released at Lake O. It's got all of the fertilizer in it. It's, it's toxic, that green algae that you've been seeing on the news. We don't have that down here. But what happens, the red tide, when the red tide comes into shore, we do have that green algae. The red tide, the red algae feeds on the green algae. So they are connected. Thankfully, thank God, we don't have that green algae problem down here in Naples. We can deal with the red tide every once in a while. It's just a natural occurrence. Some years it seems we have it a lot more often, though. We had red tide for over a month here, not too long ago. It was terrible, all the dead fish on the beach. There's Roy showboating it for us. Old Man River. He just keeps rolling along. I think you need to change it. It's Old Man Red Tide. <laughs> Old Man Red Tide. Old people. Man Red Tide. <laughs> keeps on rolling along. Oh boy. It is wicked out there. Ah, oh, glorious down here. Red tide or no red tide. Uh, the wind's blowing and the waves are crashing and the sun's <laughs> coming up and the blue skies are hanging up there and the white clouds. You gotta forget the red tide. Oh yeah. Just hang in there. There's there always there's always little bumps in the road, so what the heck. Yeah. But it, it's a glorious, glorious journey that we're on. It is windy today, boy. <laughs> Isn't that glorious? You coming swimming with me? Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance today. Well, when you're in the water, the wind doesn't get you. No thanks. I don't want that red tide all over me. <laughs> well, I think it's worth getting worse getting the breeze than in the water. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They say it doesn't hurt you, but they say definitely make sure you rinse off when you come out of the water. Oh, I do that in a big way. I hose off in the backyard. Well, you're supposed to do it when you get out of the water. Well, I can't down here. Yeah. Well, there'd be there's a hose up by the wash house, but that's the way to go. They say it's not good to leave that on your skin. Oh. It'll age you. Really? Yep. It'll make you older. Age? Oh. <laughs> well, I had a shingle shot. Maybe that should take That'll care. That'll take of it. care of it. Yeah. yeah. Get a shingle shot, a flu shot. And you'll well, be good. I finally found it. Publix had the serum. They were the only ones. Boy, I went all Walmart was out of it. And really? Walgreens didn't have it. Man, oh man. But somebody at the Walmart Walmart said, try Publix. And I did. And by George, really? they had it. And they gave me the shot. They gave you the shot at Publix? Yeah, they have a little pharmacy there. It was really great. That's good. Yeah, they were very, very nice about it. Zip zap, no problem. Well, we don't want you getting shingles, that's for sure. No, that doesn't sound too pleasant. <laughs> Blue shot and tetanus shot and shingles shot. Ugh. Boy, you get a lot of shots. You do, but you need them. Seems to do the job. Smallpox shots. Everything. <laughs> Typhoid. Typhoid. <laughs> Pneumonia. Measles, mumps, chicken pox. Boy, there's sure a lot of little germs creeping around, aren't there? <laughs> That's when I ever get up to heaven, and if I ever do and have a chance to chat with the Creator, uh -huh. I'm going to ask him if he loves us so much, why did he make those horrible germs that are pulling us down? That's because he wanted to get us up there. He wanted to bring us home sooner. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of interesting questions. There are a lot of interesting questions that we'll probably never know the answers to. No, but it's nice to contemplate them. It sure is. So you got a word for the day? Yeah, wind. Wind? Wind yeah. is the word. Wind is the word. Man. Aha, and I love it. Yep. Blow wind, blow. You know what the blowing wind does? 
it blows all the bad vibes right out of you. There you go. Zip, they're gone. No there you bad go. vibes. I love it. So the wind Good is attitude. glorious. The harder the wind, the more bad vibes are out. So. Well, you got a song about wind? How about Blow the Man Down? You know that song? <laughs> la, 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 <laughs> la, 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 Give me some time to blow the man down. La, 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 la. Oh, give me some time to blow the men down. I don't know all the I don't know. Words. That's the only part I know. But that's our wind song. So at least we have a wind song for oh, today. I don't know if that refers to wind or gunpowder. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I think that was gunpowder. <laughs> we'll make it the wind today, though. Oh, I got sixpence. No, that doesn't got anything to do with the wind, does it? There's something about the you wind. Know, my friend Greg, he, the commander up there at the VFW, you know, he was oh, in the really? he was in the Navy. He um he said a term yesterday. I can't quite remember what it was. He ordered some appetizers at a restaurant to take home. Yeah. I asked him what he had in the bag. He said something like G dunks or something. C. Have you ever heard that term? G dunks or C dunks? Or, he said it's an old Navy term. Yeah. So that's yeah, what you call the appetizers. Dunks or something. He said, oh, Roy, I know what that is. I'm like, I don't Dunks, yeah, I, I, I heard it too, but I don't remember what it is. What it, I said, spell it. He said, I don't know how to spell it. He wasn't even I sure. I know, in the Navy, food was chow. That's all I know. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. Chow, chow, chow down. Yeah. Chow time. <laughs> <laughs> they still say that, that now. That was a big time. Got the mess hall, the chow hall. Yeah. The mess hall, yeah. Yep. Well, those were some great days, the old Navy days. Things that sure changed since then. I was reading a book about the Pacific, and it's amazing how they got all these missile things all poisoned each other. I guess China is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, yep. and uh, kind of occupying more of the Pacific and. Almost like creeping up on Hawaii. Yeah, you got so, North Korea and Russia. It's just getting ridiculous. So there's going to be an interesting time to head. Yep, one heck of a 4th of July. Boom, lots of fireworks. <laughs> yeah, this cold wall at war, they're all It'll eyeing the each one. other and building more and more sophisticated uh, Oh, it's weapons. sad. So, all the, how many different ways can we kill each other? Well, we figured out some pretty good ones in recent years. Yeah. Puts the old gunpowder pretty much in the... And that's and that the truth. And that's a shame, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a world we live in. You know, I guess the Chinese invented gunpowder, I understand, yep. so long ago. And now the Chinese are coming back with all this uh, nuclear power and all that sort of thing. I don't think they invented it, but they're coming back with all kinds of sophisticated um, arms devices, and we're we're doing the same, so we're yep. kind of confronting each other. Yeah, we'll figure a way to blow ourselves up one of these days. Well, hopefully not. Well, hopefully we'll be gone. <laughs> I don't want to be around for that. No, but it's interesting to uh, observe how things are playing out. Yeah. Yes, it is. Got a madman for president. <laughs> He's something else. I don't know. I I don't get involved in politics. There you I, go. I like an honest, straightforward man, and he seems like uh, that's it. I mean, he tells he said, it like it is. He said, tells it like he is. It doesn't, he didn't, uh, you know, one of these politicians right. like just, coaching everything in double talk. Right. Says what people want to hear. Yep. So I like a guy that kind of lays it on the line. What there you the go. Heck? Amen to that. Good. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. I don't like the smell out here. <laughs> it's not you. It's the red tide. <laughs> well, it, it does burn my eyes. Yeah. But other than be that, careful it's out there. There's. It can't be good for us. <laughs> well, the poor fish are starting. Yeah, the fish are definitely not good for them. All right, Roy. Hey, I'll see. Great you. Yeah, Bye. always good talking to you. Maybe if you just hold your breath. I'll hold my breath all the way back to the car. There good idea. Go. Good idea. Close
close your eyes and hold your breath and you'll be in good shape. Is that your advice for today? Yeah, yeah. When you come to the beach, close your eyes and hold your breath. Yeah, only, <laughs> only takes a few hours and enjoy it while you're here. <laughs> you'll be on the beach like one of the fish. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Happy Sunday. Take care, you too, Rob. God bless. God bless and tally-ho. Tally-ho. <laughs> Our good friend Roy. Oh. He's always got something for us. He always makes my morning, that's for sure. Now I'm heading south now down the beach from Area 4 at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples. Look at this. There's a neat piece of coral. Nice big chunk of coral on the beach. And sadly, another dead fish over here. We've seen quite a few dead fish. Sad, sad, sad. Red tide is not leaving us alone. I guess it was just a matter of time before this round of red tide hit us. I was keeping my fingers crossed that it would stay away, but nope. Another cool little piece of worm rock. I really didn't get to see many shells this morning. I was expecting this waves to blow some nice shells up on the beach, but it just didn't happen. Nope. Thought maybe I saw I found a lightning whelp, but half of it's missing there. <laughs> half a lightning whelk. You can always find your share of kids' toys out here on the beach. It's amazing what people left leave behind. shell down here. We can pretty much always find a worm shell. That's almost the one thing we can count on, slipper shells and worm shells. There's a little slipper shell and a couple worm shells. See how that looks like a little slipper, that one on the right? Two worm shells. A little tiny baby fighting conch shell. <coughs> Excuse me, red tide making me cough. There's a nice chunk of a worm, worm shell right there. A couple pieces of a worm shell.
really strong onshore breeze here. Wreaking havoc on the beach. Here's a... This is part of a lightning whelk. I call this the stem when the shell is... That's just my terminology. That's just the inside core of the lightning whelk. I just call it a stem. It kind of looks like a stem, doesn't it? That's what's left of a lightning whelk. Oh, so sad. So sad seeing these dead fish on the beach. I lost my gimbal. Hang on folks, I lost my camera gimbal. I don't know what happened. Give me a minute here to get the camera stabilized. I don't know if it's going to come back here. I don't know what happened. Ah, it's acting up here. Sorry about that. That was crazy. The camera just started spinning all around. Might have got a little piece of sand in it or something. Hi. Ah. Well, that was weird. Very strange. I don't know what happened. Really warming up out here. It was 85 when I came out this morning. I was supposed to get up to 90. Feels like it's 90 already out here. No new sea turtle nest last night. No, no more crawls. Still 53 nests on the beach. Have that strong onshore breeze. That's what's bringing the red tide in. Not a good day for people with any kind of respiratory problems to be out on the beach. people out here though. Not scaring everybody away. There's another dead fish down there, mullet. Sad. So, so sad seeing all these dead fish on the beach.
That's a red tide making me cough like that. <coughs> Looks like we have a group of volunteers out here cleaning up the beach. That's awful nice of them. We'll see a couple of them in a minute here. They're up ahead of me. A lot of rocks here. Not really finding it. I did not really find any great shells this morning. Very amazed at that. I thought these waves were going to wash up a lot of nice shells, but that just didn't happen. Instead, we got the dead fish from the red tide. There's two volunteers over there in their orange shirts picking up trash. We appreciate that big time. Earlier when I walked up here, that nest that was on the verge of being washed into the gulf, that sea turtle nest, nest number 40, was still here. I don't know if it's there now or if it finally washed away. It was getting close earlier this morning. You can see up ahead of me, <coughs> excuse me, that black thing up on the beach. That's that barge that's been offshore. It broke loose of its anchor and washed up on the beach. That's not very good. Well, I don't see nest number 40. That was right up here in front of me. Darn it. Looks like the waves got it. Sad. It was right up in here somewhere. Darn. The Gulf reclaimed sea turtle nest number 40. How sad. Something else is sad. I've seen a lot of dead horseshoe crabs on the beach. More victims of the red tide, these horseshoe crabs.
Yeah, what a shame. I mean, there are no signs of that nest now. It was out here the, earlier this morning, an hour ago. But now it's gone. This is the nest that I shared the pictures of yesterday. I thought maybe we'd see some of the eggs out here, but no. Unless it's down maybe just a little further where the nest was. It's right in this area somewhere. sunk down into a really soft spot. Well, there's that barge. It's been hanging offshore for a while. It's onshore. <laughs> hey, Mark. Oh. Did you? Nice fresh air. Did you pull that cage up or did it wash away? No, I pulled it up. Uh, it was getting ready to wash yeah. up. Yeah. I was hoping to give everybody a look at the eggs. They're, I couldn't find any of them. No, they were there. I had a picture of it. I'll send it to you. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it was close when I was walking up. You could see the eggs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's sad. But that's why they lay so many of them. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I got to take a picture of our new beach ornament. Both had not missed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. So up at the north end of the beach, we have one of the signs that marks the underwater pipeline that broke free, and that's up on the north end of the beach. Look at the waves pounding over that barge. This is part of the dredging operation. Broke free of its anchor and washed up onto the beach last night. Man. I always say you never know what we're going to find when we come out to the beach in the morning. It's going to be quite a deal, I think, to pull this off the beach. It's going to take a couple tugboats to do that. We're going to be fighting these waves, this onshore breeze. Well, that is sad news that we lost sea turtle nest number 40. We've lost several of them, and that happens. Last year, we lost almost all of our sea turtle nests to Hurricane Irma. More volunteers helping out here, cleaning up our beach, picking up, picking up fish. Looks like a fun job. Here, this is our most recent nest, nest number 53, loggerhead 
sea turtle nest 53. I think we've lost probably three or four nests. We've had some hatchings, right? Maybe as many as half a dozen have already hatched. There's number 53. And they're still coming, so that's good news. The sea turtles are still crawling on the beach. We haven't had any crawls in a couple days. It's been really rough out here, but I don't think that affects the sea turtles. I think when it's time to lay those eggs. Nature calls, they just come up on the beach no matter what the weather is. Besides the dead fish, I've seen a lot of dead horseshoe crabs on the beach this red tide. I've never seen it, that many horseshoe crabs before. There's another dead horseshoe crab. Because of the red tide. Red Tide, and you can learn all about Red Tide. It's mostly a natural occurrence. We're checking out a, another dead horseshoe crab there. It doesn't affect humans. I mean, you can go in the water. I wouldn't go in the water with red tide, but they say it doesn't bother you. Just make sure you shower off. So those, there was, those parents weren't being irresponsible. This is something that I want to bring to everybody's attention. There's no reason for this. When you dig a hole on the beach like this, fill it in. Why would you dig a hole like that on the beach? I mean, that is just ridiculous. I mean, somebody can fall in there and break their neck. Even worse, One of our sea turtles crawling up on shore. That's a little obstacle there for a sea turtle to have to navigate around. But when these hatchlings come out, these little baby sea turtles, they get trapped in these holes. That's a death sentence for them. And the birds get them, the raccoons get them. So fill in your holes before you leave the beach. Have fun, dig all the holes you want, but fill them in before you leave. Think about other people. Think about the wildlife out here on the beach. The same goes with trash. For Pete's sake. Remind people to pick up their trash when they're at the beach. Everybody always says, well, the only thing you're supposed to leave behind you at the beach are footprints. It wasn't the most pleasant beach walk this morning. <laughs> Between the barge washing up on the beach, the dead fish from red tide. But it is what it is. You know, I come out here and I, I try to show you all sides of Mother Nature. I've even been out here in blinding rain tropical forest wind with our friend Roy out here on the beach just to share it with you just show you the fury of mother nature I hope you enjoy
enjoy these beach walks. I'm not just beach bomb walking on the beach with my camera. I'm learning something constantly when I come out here. And I'm trying to share that knowledge with you guys. So if you like these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends about them. Hit the share button. Later on, I'll post a few pictures that I've taken this morning. And I'll also include a link to this entire video on YouTube where you can watch it in a little better quality, the whole video. If any of you are in Naples, I just want to do another shout out. We're having a benefit for one of my good friends, Tim McEwen, also known as Tim A. Tim A. Great guy, father. He had some really bad luck. He actually had a brain aneurysm, but he's, he's recovering. We're having a fundraiser for him. He can't work yet. He hasn't been back to work. He just needs help covering some of his bills. We're going to have a fundraiser today at the North Naples Country Club. Three raffles, a 50-50 raffle, lots of great prizes. So if anybody wants to come out and help out, I'd really appreciate it. That's at the North Naples Country Club this afternoon. You can just check out their Facebook page, North Naples Country Club, and get the info for the times. North Naples Country Club, that's probably one of the oldest bars around. They built that building back in the mid-1930s. There were older bars, but that's the last one standing. Back then it was called the Tamiami Smokehouse back in the 30s. It was the only thing up in North Naples. A lot of history behind that place. New owners, they cleaned it up. Working on fixing it up slowly over the past couple of years. Don't be scared to go in. <laughs> A little piece of Naples history there, the North Naples Country Club. Don't forget to visit nonstopnaples.com and download the Nonstop Naples app, where you can download it from wherever you download your apps, Google Play or the App Store. You can also download it right at nonstopnaples.com. Get some rewards, coupons. We just added Pelican Larry's to our rewards program. All of the Pelican Larry's locations. So if you're a Pelican Larry's fan, you can save some money just by downloading our free app. I want to thank everybody for joining me this Sunday morning. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out more of my videos here on this Facebook page, my photos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. Lots of great stuff, lots of great information. Again, I enjoy coming out here and sharing it with you. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.